I'm walking in the Clooney woods again and hoping that you can also hear the bird song. It's evening time. And I'm going to walk a bit more and then share another thought with you, this time about trees and the distance that they keep from each other. For those of you that are familiar with the Clooney Woods, you might recognise that we're on the side of Clooney Hill that borders onto the, where the Steiner School is. This is one of my favourite places to walk because of all of these lovely beech trees. So when I was walking along here the other day, I noticed how the trees have always been socially distanced, if you will. You know, it's in their nature when they are growing as a forest that they keep a distance from each other. But I'm also aware uh, since the days when I did botany at school that we've discovered that there's something truly magical and mysterious that goes on underneath the ground in a forest. Whereas the trees give the appearance of standing as separated individuals above the ground. Underneath the ground, it's a completely different story, apparently, with root systems so intermingled that it's really one ecosystem and functions in such a way that it attempts to benefit the whole. It's not like there's one tree that's just looking out for itself. They're completely interdependent and relying on each other for their well-being. And of course, that's us, isn't it, in the world right now. For all of our separatedness over all these years as individuals, nations, countries, this really is a time when we have to realise that we are interdependent and we have to function together if we're going to experience well-being. But I also realised that anyway, underneath the surface of things, we are already interconnected. On, there's like a subtle internet, isn't there, between all of us. The mysterious, maybe we can call it spiritual realm where there never is any separation and where we are just one body, one consciousness. I find that really soothing in these times to remember that. Even though I might get very caught up in my feelings of separateness and aloneness, my individuality, at other times, I rest more in this place of appreciating that I'm part of a really amazing mystery. And at the deepest level, there is no separation. But what I choose, what I focus on, where I put my energy and attention, it's not just affecting me, it's affecting everyone. Thanks for sharing another moment of reflection with me.